Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Chris, and today's reaction is going to be Fubar, Take Your Daughter to Work Day, Episode 1. This is with uh, Arnold, and apparently his daughter is a CIA agent, and he is a retired CIA. I don't know, I can't tell. I don't know, I saw this on the Netflixes when I was kind of surfing for things to watch, and I figured, why not? Short, quick, it's Arnold, it might be stupid, it might be fun, maybe there's some action. Get a good action flick on the channel, and something newer that you guys can join in watching me with. So, but without further ado, let's get to the show. That's an interesting way to start. Go! Either you got on the truck or you the fastest 65 year old white guy on the planet. Because <laughs> at Romy's recital, the cake didn't have crunchies. Stop. Right above you. Oh, I want that flashlight. Let me get that. Bees in the bonnet. Cream is in the coffee. You can't be true to two. Yeah, thief. Is that what's going on here? He's a thief. His daughter's a guy agent. Ah. Oh, our boy really was off the grid. Initializing thermostat scan. Peekaboo, I and see through. This guy's got like all the toys. It's a few months. Yeah, but the mist smells like tar. This is a plastic residue from an explosion. No, no, you're mistaken. You don't own a diamond concern. These are stolen. Why did you lie about who you are? <laughs> who are you, really? I might have taken the antidote. This is. Oh! Yeah, you, you can tell the old man cake thing. didn't have it. So, you read my proposal? About the Maisley's? It's pronounced Miles. My and Isles pushed together. Any supermarket, any city, the Miles app will tell you the exact aisle the item you're looking for is in. But don't the signs that hang from the ceiling do that? Dad, come on, I don't want my family living above the garage forever. Okay, next two of us with anything. Sure, just making some brisket over there. Here. Thank you. So, how was your trip? Oh, don't ask me. No one wants to lift heavy weights anymore. Everyone wants to go biking with their digital friends. Can't wait to sell my half of the <laughs> business to Barry. Uh, to be da -da. Wow. Now you hide this in your jewelry box. And when you're 18 years old, I get you a really beautiful gift, okay? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> that is a Congolese warlord to die. Just one evidence. It was just one. <laughs> Emma. He gave her a hot diamond. Dad. Cursing. And now you're providing water to millions more people. It's one more reason to be so proud of you. But I have to tell you, I'm a little bit concerned about this La Guajira. It's a very volatile area. How do you know about that? When my daughter says she's going to Colombia, I Google it. I'm a teacher. Those paintings don't finger themselves. Dad. Seriously? <laughs> no crunchies? It's not cake time yet, Barry. One slice, Uncle Barry, your heart. This is the recital all over again. Cake is bullshit. Dad, I'll be I do like the frozen I cake with the know. crunchies. He is right. Couldn't have done. Uh, no crunchies in there either. Mm. Well, good. So, how are you gonna spend your golden years, huh? Lots of mall walking. Learning the Facebook. Getting vaccinated for pneumococcal pneumonia. Wilford. We're gonna lose an operative. Who? Codename's Panda. Been embedded in Guyana for a while now. With Lape Palanmo. Power and influence through illegal arms sales. Specifically, with this suitcase nuke, complete with a reflector of beryllium to reduce fissile material mass, thereby making it... A WMD. It can be taken anywhere. In that world, oh, no way. War doesn't know Finn killed his old man. He'll welcome the... Rich European mercenary, his childhood hero, the man who looked out for him with open arms. I said no. Oh, wait, 
You'll be representing bidders who pay more for the WMD than anyone else. You it's possible. Damn it. Who's the operative? My ship. That's Kane Khan. Fourth number two. Be careful. He's tough. He doesn't look that tough. He clearly whacked. Boro knows you. I do not. Vamos. He don't need no damn gun to take you out, son. The bangle. Uh huh. Dead of a gun. That's what he used to call me. The rascal. That's right. Well, the rascal has done well for himself. No, well, thanks to you. Everything fell apart after Papa died. Mm -hmm. But you always watched over me. You think I provide food, shelter, income? And in return, my soldiers provide me with unconditional loyalty. We grow cinnamon, ginger, cacao, the sale of which helps to launder our extracurricular activities. Dangerous and most easily concealed weapon on earth. The world will know I am a man to be reckoned with. Russia, China, America, they will all have to address me. They will call me Boro Bologna. Bologna. The name of my father will be in the mouths of the world's most powerful men. The guy. Well, that was a cool little fight scene I won't be able to put in because of music. Finn Hoss, Daniel De Rosa, a real-life American soldier that decided if she was going to fight for a living, she might as well be rich. Nice to meet you. We're here to sell Borrow a Bowflex. Me? Where's the irrigation system? Oh, and this is Colombia? Gary, answer the goddamn phone. I know you're hearing us over the comms. <laughs> Orders in the CIA. Hey, buddy. Uncle Barry? Hi, pumpkin. What the fuck? Hey, <laughs> what's your language? <laughs> what your voice? Barry, what, explain that to yeah, us. Yeah, you're really young. Started working with Luke when I was 21. She was 11. It stuck and black don't crack. Okay, how is this even doable? The CIA created the Chinese wall. So you never know I or your dad work for the company. Set it up where we never cross paths. Decade? You've been lying to me my whole life. Yeah, she kind of got you there. That's it, and that's all. We'll talk later. I thought you were my friend, Barry. He's emotional. He didn't mean that. Oh. Yeah. Listen, Boro is throwing the party. An ally to Lape Palanmo when we were first growing. <laughs> an ally today. He didn't teach her to drive. <laughs> Been hoss. Oh. It was gone. I never touched it. I would never steal from you. Boro, no! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Boss, my father said you invented a way to slit a man's throat vertically so he bleeds out faster. Can do that. Girl's no challenge. If your father was to tell you how much money I made for him, he can do the same for you. Just show me that suit. Los cuernos y yo las patas. <laughs> how many kids have you screwed up? Probably quite a few. Go faster. It's a bad idea to keep him waiting. We're talking about bad ideas. What were you thinking? Sleeping with Boro. What? I didn't sleep with that creep. Old saws each. That son of a bitch. What does she see that loser anyway? Maybe the fact that he's actually around. Well, you know I haven't been around. Is he gonna run him over again? I don't. Away from the rest of the compound. Best way there is through the stretch here. No one will see us. Set up. Steel construction, Quonset hut, four guards. 
one at each compass point, rotate every five hours. All have AKs and MP7s, but I've Cigarettes and the garish lipstick. That's not lipstick. Uh, oh my god. Uh, 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 it's vibrating. My god. Kill me now. Pharrell. Stop touching my things. Oh my Get god. Tidy up before your dad comes to visit you. I didn't know you were going to be here, remember? Sweetheart. No, we got to get the suitcase ASAP. Poro is going to mm. He's going to wonder where Troy is, and it's not going to take him a long time to do the math. Sweetheart, get out here. What do you think that means? It means Poro's math homework's done of the year because of all the flooding. Sounds about right. Move! Move out of the way! <laughs> Barry, within 50 yards of our location, there are probably seven to eight cell phones. The one with the weakest signal will be wired to the nuke and sheltered under a steel roof. Fake and accelerated countdown sequence. On it. What are you doing? Why is he telling a story? Got it. They're on us. Keep down. Who the hell are they? They're the called Barry. This is Bush League. Well, 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 that was a fun, fun show. I enjoyed it. First episode of Fubar, we get introduced to the dad, the daughter, who are the main characters, uh, his ex wife, her current husband, and the team that is supporting them not the husband and wife, but the, the dad, daughter. And we also get introduced to who is going, the guy that's going to be basically our foil of the show. And it was fun and entertaining. I laughed, I was intrigued, I was sucked in. Left you on enough of a cliffhanger to want me to come back for sure. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction as much as I did watching the show. You know, if you did, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment below, find me in the socials. And until next time, Chris out. <laughs>